Just got back from this crazy 10 day work trip in Japan and you are not gonna believe this. So first of all, the country is absolutely beautiful, especially like in the Northern part with the mountains and Tokyo is like a city from the future. The biggest cultural thing I noticed was like how seriously the Japanese took their health. I mean, you could see it everywhere. Like people are just in better shape. They look better. They look younger than they are. It's a total cultural thing. It's nothing like the US. No one is overweight, their skin looks great, and they have great teeth as well. It did come up in conversation that overall they definitely eat less sugar than Americans, but they also use a completely different toothpaste. Literally no one uses fluoride in their toothpaste, and they haven't for like 30 years. They told me how it was actually the US government through NASA that came up with this idea of using a calcium mineral called hydroxyapatite. And they figure that out because nanohydroxyapatite is something that your salivary glands, your saliva actually releases and puts on your teeth as a way for your body's own sort of natural defenses to protect and rebuild your teeth. So it was a Japanese company that actually got the patent from NASA to use this. And they have, like this is literally all they've used for the last 30 years. To them, it just made sense because it was like, why wouldn't you just use this mineral that's already in your body anyway, rather than using this other thing called fluoride, which has nothing to do with anything in our body. Here's the sad part. Once that patent ran out, which was a while ago, none of the major American brands decided to put hydroxyapatite in their toothpaste formulations. And I think the only reason this is, is because it's an expensive ingredient and they just didn't want to add cost to the toothpaste. The exact brands they use in Japan are not distributed in the US. So on the plane ride home, I did some research and looked at a lot of studies and a lot of different options. And here's what I found. You want to be using a toothpaste that has at least 10% nano hydroxyapatite. So 10% is the concentration or the amount in the toothpaste and the nano is the particle size. So there's a couple different types of hydroxyapatite. Nano is the smallest particle and it is the particle that remineralizes your teeth the best. All these studies show that the 10% formulation is kind of the standard that they've used to compare it against fluoride. The best one I found is called Ali Clean Mint. And I love this one because it has just like 11 super simple clean ingredients. Also has xylitol. It has a pretty good light mint flavor and it foams really well, which I know a lot of the sort of natural toothpastes don't. So if you're looking for that, it's called Ali Clean Mint Toothpaste.